Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Today I'm going to be taking a look at TrueNAS Core. Um, I've done some videos in the past on FreeNAS which show you how to set up Samba shares uh, and access them from Windows machines. There was a bit of a pain in the uh, experience as I had to keep restarting the Samba services. And um, I've had a look at it in TrueNAS Core and they seem to have resolved that issue and it's quite a painless experience to set up. Uh, somebody did ask me how you integrate the Active Directory with TrueNAS. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. So this is a completely fresh install of TrueNAS. So we can go ahead and do this from the beginning. Um, so there's a couple of settings that we need before we jump in and start creating our shares. Uh, in order for the PCs to be able to access the shares, the time needs to be in sync with the server. Um, so if we go into system and set the NTP servers, so by default we're pointing at uh, freebsd.pool.ntp.org. Now we need to change these to our servers. Um, in order for that to resolve, we need to set the DNS. So let's go ahead and do that first. So uh, it's on the network, global configuration. So let's set the DNS servers here. So 10.1.10.254, obviously that will change for you. Um, that's the address of the server that I've set up for this um, demo. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, that's done. So the next thing that we need to do is to go into system and NTP servers. So as I mentioned, the time needs to be in sync. So let's remove the default servers. And I will add in our new server. So what did I call it? I think is what I called it. And stick the address of the server in. So that's that done. We've got the DNS set up. Um, we now need to set uh, the time zone. English, the time zone is here. So it's set to America. We're gonna set that to Europe, London. So now we've um, Gonna ahead and done that. I'm gonna set the key map. So United Kingdom UK. So with that done, we should now be good to um, go ahead and set up the relationship between our domain. So if we're going to directory services, Active Directory, domain name. So uh, what did I call it? Sheridan local. Give it an account name that has administrator access in order to be able to do this. Um, enable it, save. So settings have been saved. Um, so the rebuild directory service cache is automatically called uh, as a con job once a day. If you add new users to your domain and the need to be able to access the shares immediately, then you need this is what this rebuild directory cache is for. So it doesn't know how to go and do that. So it says it's been rebuilt uh, under advanced options. Is there anything we need to change? Um, so you can set your NetBIOS name. Um, we've got various options here. If you're going to set up multiple domains, we're not in this case, it's just one straight domain. Um, in order to test that, let's go ahead and pull up a shell and do WB info minus G. So straight away, um, we can pull all the groups up and we could do WB info minus U to pull a list of the users up. Um, so that's working. So with that all in order, we can go ahead and start our sharing. So if we go into shares, Windows shares, um, let's go ahead and in fact, I don't think I've set pools up on this. Let me set the pools out. Yeah, I've got no pool. Let's go ahead and create a new pool real quick. Uh, that, that, give it a name, let's call it Tank. Um, 
right? So we have our pool cell of 1.6, 1.7 terabytes in this case. We have um, two two gig drives in it. Um, so we set the pool up. So next we can go ahead and uh, create a data set for our share. So if we go add data set, uh, we'll call it software. Software share. Uh, I'm going to turn the um, times off on these because it don't need some. So we'll go ahead now down here obviously windows is um not case sensitive so if we change it to smb you'll see it changes it to insensitive so let's go ahead submit that so we have our software um, data set so this is what we're going to use for our share so if we go into sharing now uh, windows shares and add select the data set that we created so this one here um submit So now we can uh, edit the chair. Um, so it's set to full. Uh, everyone type allowed. Uh, file system. So select a preset. And we're going to use restricted. Um, now this is the important part. And a lot of people seem to um, struggle with this bit. If you set it to open then that will basically allow you to use the Windows guest accounts, but that is disabled in Windows 10 by default. So we set it as restricted. Uh, we're not setting up a global share anyway. So if we set it to restricted, continue. Um, so the owner is root for the group. We can change our group to... Um, you can see we've now got all the... Windows groups here, so we'll set it to domain users. Apply group. Um, so for this, I'm just creating a general share to allow anyone to access it. And uh, we'll give the group full control as well. Go ahead and add, uh, save that. The apply permissions recursively is if you have, you know, if you've got multiple data sets, it will apply them recursively straight through. Um, we don't need to tick that in this case. So now we have our software share, which should be accessible. So let me go and log into Windows. Um, so the IP address of our box is 10.1.10.241 that I changed it to, and now we have our software share. And let's open. So we've got a new folder. Oh, well, that's basically how you do the um, Active Directory integration. There really isn't that much to it. So we'll go ahead and create another share. Um, let me minimize this real quick. Go ahead and create another one. Um, da -da -da. So I'll create data set. Uh, oops, that's not what I want. I want add data set. So let's create an accounts one. Accounts share. Um did this turn the time off because I don't need that. Don't forget to change the type to SMB so it case insensitive. Submit that. Um so that's that bit done. Let's go ahead and create the actual share. Um uh, Yeah. Accounts. So we've created our account share. Let's go ahead and edit the file system group. So don't forget to check this apply group box. Um, let's set the preset to restricted. Uh, apply group. And then we're going to select our accounts group from our Active Directory domain. So there we go. Um, we'll give the group full control. Go ahead and save that. So now we have our account share. Let's go back to Windows. And our account share is there. And I can access it because I'm a member of the group.
um, if we remove me from that group. Account. Members. Remove. Um, so I imagine it'll take some time to update. I can still get in there. Um, I'll need to go back here. Uh, directory services, Active Directory. Um, we've changed the um, permissions within Active Directory, so rebuild the cache. Uh, can I still get in it? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, maybe we do need to still restart services now and again. So SMB off. Let's put it back. So I imagine that would have just taken some time to update. Um, now I can no longer get in it. So the Active Directory is on Truna's uh, core. It just works really well. Um, let's switch this over. So somebody did ask me on the comments on YouTube um, how you do Active Directory integration like that, and it's that simple. Uh, I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next video.